Hola, mi amigos, como estas? Alrighty then, people of the internet. Now you might be wondering, Gage the Pyro, what are you doing with the Spanish and this new camera angle? It frightens me. I want you to go back to the way things were. Before you change them. Well, my first question will be, William Shatner, you found out about this vlog, nice. The second thing I want to say is yes, I thought the vlogs were growing a little too monotonous, so I decided to spin the chair around, maybe open it in Spanish. I hope that was correct. Let me know in the comments if I did my Spanish wrong, and I'll fix that for next time. You can see behind me the Calvin and Hobbes I mentioned on last night's vlog, also my Rambo action figure, my Minecraft zombie, and my monster truck that I've had for years. I actually got that after I saw the real one in a monster truck rally. I also, fun fact, I still have my original Buzz Lightyear that I got when I was like three, when Toy Story first, I was, was I three or was I even younger? I might have been younger because I think Toy Story came out in 95 and that was like a first run Buzz Lightyear. So, and if you had one of the very original Buzz Lightyears, you know that like the wings are only like that long, each wing, and you can smack it too hard and the wings will pop out and it uh, still works too. I still have that toy. Uh, and Beavis and Butthead bobbleheads. I wanted to start off this week by saying that I am from now on going to be doing five awesome things Thursdays because I don't have classes on Thursdays, so I'll have more time to think about these awesome things every week. So I've got these written down to do, but before I start, I just want to say the land before time has ruined a generation of young minds. You know, I've, I've, asked, I've asked people who are in college classes with me, hey, what's your favorite dinosaur? And they've said, oh, my favorite dinosaur is the three horn or the long neck. I'm like, really? Really, dude? The long neck. Your favorite dinosaur is the long neck. No. No, it isn't. Your favorite dinosaur is the Brachiosaurus. That is what it is called. Long neck is what you call a bottle of beer. And if your favorite dinosaur is a bottle of beer, well, then you have problems. They just, the movies taught you all the wrong names. And the people who loved that movie as little kids still stick with those names. I'm glad I only saw it like twice. You know what I watched when I was a little kid? Jurassic Park. That is right. So now I know the deer, now I know what a bronchiosaurus is. I know what a triceratops is. I know what a stegosaurus is. I know what a velociraptor is. I know what an allosaurus is. I know what a tyrannosaurus rex is. I know the actual real names of the dinosaurs. So if I'm talking to small children about dinosaurs and they say, my favorite dinosaur is the long neck, I'll say, you mean your favorite dinosaur is the brachiosaurus? And then I will have taught a child. I will have made the world a slightly better place because I saw Jurassic Park and not the land before time. So yeah, I just stepped all over a bunch of people's memories. I'll hear about that in the comments. <laughs> anyway, time to kick off this week's list of awesome things. Number five, inside jokes. If you've been a part of one of these, you know how awesome they can be. I've got a buddy down in Florida where if either one of us says the joke, the other one will just bust a gut laughing. And no, I'm not going to tell you why. That defeat the purpose. The fact is that we have this joke between us where the mere mention of it will conjure memories to both of us that just get us to start laughing. And if not laughing, we smile and warmly remember this great shared thing. And it's an awesome thing because an inside joke is always between multiple people. And it's always just like a word or a sentence that brings that back to the present. It is amazetacular if you've got one. If you don't have one, don't try to force it because then it's not an inside joke. Then it's just annoying and stupid. But once it happens, you will annoy all of your friends by referencing it all the time with those few new few friends who do understand it. I'm already at four minutes. Okay, number two, burritos. Burritos are great. Whether it's one of those big two-fisted giant super burritos that's loaded with like guac and steak and rice and beans and all kinds of goodness. Or if it's that 12-pack of Taco Bell burritos you get for like six bucks. Either way, it is awesome. Just grab it. Whole things in your hand. It is an improvement on the sandwich formula. There's all kinds of different good stuff in there. Delicious, nutritious, fills you, fuels you. Yay for burritos. Number three, blasting music as loud as you can. Clears the palate, gets your mind ready for whatever else you're doing. Knocks everything else out your butt. I mean, blasting music is just awesome. You get a good power song or a good mellowing out song, or if you're writing and you need to set the mood, I always just blast the music right in my ears, which I know is bad for my ears, but you know. You only live once. I mean, crap. I did not just say YOLO. Carpe diem. Carpe the diem. I'll play me some live music if I feel like it. Next up on the list, kittens. 
no matter what else happens, no matter how bad your day is, you can go on Google and type in kittens, and you will see pictures of kittens. You live in a world where kittens exist, and that, subscriber, is awesome. And everyone likes kittens. I don't even like cats, and I still love kittens with little faces and little ears and the little tiny paws, and they can't even meow all the way. It's just... In fact, if you meet someone who doesn't like kittens, not that they're allergic to cats, that just outright does not like kittens, punch that person in the throat. Put the kitten down gently, and bam, right in the throat, because you are obviously dealing with an evil person who needs to be stopped before they try to blow up New Jersey or something. And last, but certainly not least on this list, is the fact that we can give to each other. I don't mean to get all philosophical on you in a vlog or anything, but... You know, really often we get stuck up in our own little worlds, and we are the most important person in the world, we're the only citizen of our world, everyone else is just things, puppets that are popping around on our stage. So isn't it kind of amazing when someone says, you know what, this is not my own little world, there's more people in the world than just me, and decides to give something to someone else, whether it's buying a bottle of Gatorade for a homeless guy, and not even trying to like get him to do anything for it. Just hand it to him and say, man, it's too hot to be outside today without anything to drink. And then just walking away. Or whether it's buying a cup of coffee for a friend. Or if you work retail somewhere, one day buy like one of those huge Halloween-sized bags of candy. It's only like four bucks. Pop the thing open, dump it into a bowl, and leave it on the front counter with a sign that says, take one. And just see how people's faces light up when they get a free piece of candy. And that's it. And it's something so simple and so small as giving someone your time or a few dollar little trinket or saying, you know what, let, let me get it, man. That shows someone that they are not just a number or someone that's standing in front of you. They actually matter to you. And it's amazing that humans can do that. It's amazing that we get to be a part of that. No matter how sucky the world gets, no matter how jaded you become, just remember that you always have the power to make the world a little bit better, even if it's just one person, one time, one minute. You can do it. So, subscribers, that is it for this video this time. Five more awesome things are inside jokes, burritos, blasting music, kittens, and giving. Land Before Time has ruined a generation of children. I will be back soon with more content. Stick around, me amigos. It's about to get awesome. I really should have had the mouse on the stop button so it would have stopped as soon as I winked. Oh, well. Live and learn.